If arranging your beats is something that you struggle with, I'm gonna show you a new tool that can really help you out in today's video. Arranging can be a difficult process if you just started making beats. Luckily, there is a new tool that can do this for you. This can be something that you use if you have a hard time trying to structure your beats, or you can use this when you'd rather focus on the creative idea building rather than the song structure. There's just a lot of uses for this tool. It's called Juke Blocks, and it was made by another YouTube producer named Dylan Tallchief. Basically, what this will do is give you a project file with a beat fully arranged and structured for you. All you gotta do is build the patterns within the beat and the rest is gonna take care of itself. Let me show you how it works. First, what you're gonna do is go onto the site. The link is in the description box below, by the way. And then you select the genre of the beat that you're trying to make. So in this instance, we'll do a trap hip hop beat. And then you're gonna hit generate. Basically what this is gonna do is generate a beat arrangement based on the genre that you chose. As you can see, it gives you something that looks somewhat similar to the FL Studio playlist. On the side here, it shows you different tracks. These are the different suggested instruments to use in your beat. And we have all of our pattern blocks for our beat and the different sections for our beat made as well. And if you don't like the one that it came up with for you, you can select generate once again. And it will come up with an entirely different suggestion for you with different instrumentation and a different arrangement overall. And I can keep cycling through until I find one that seems interesting to me. Uh, I'm not gonna use this one. Now the cool part is once you find one that you do like, you can just hit download for FL Studio right here. And then a project file will download onto your computer and then you just open it in FL Studio. And there you go, you guys can see if I go into the playlist here, this is gonna have the entire beat mapped out for me. The entire structure of the beat is made and the arrangement is complete here. At this point, all you have to do is go in pattern by pattern and fill this beat out with your own creative ideas. A little while ago, I did a video showing the fundamentals of beat arrangement and the principles that you should know if you wanna learn how to arrange your beats. But this tool basically does that work for you if this is something that you struggle with. All these different patterns here are empty. What we have to do is fill them out. And you can go in the order of what is provided to you one by one. But I think a better idea is to focus on the more central components in this beat first. I'll start off by building the lead pattern. So what I'll do here at this point is choose the sound I want for the lead with a plugin and create a pattern with it. And as you can see, if I go into the playlist again, this lead pattern that was once empty is now filled but I still have another lead pattern to make over here. So I'm gonna go do that next. And then after this, I'll take a look at my list here. I think the next move should be to fill out the 808 patterns. I have four of them to do here, so I'll just do them one by one. First things first, I actually have to choose an 808 here. And now I'm gonna come up with the four different patterns that I need to come up with here. All right, next let's go ahead and add a metal percussive sound into the beat. So first I have to go and find a metal sound that I like. And as you can see, as I fill out more and more patterns, if I go back into the playlist, the beat is now getting closer and closer to being finished. More and more of these patterns are now being filled out. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, there is also suggested automation here to add into your beat. For example, this one here, it says on low pass, meaning start with a low pass and slowly bring it up to bring in your sounds. This one over here, it says mute. The idea being we should mute all of our sounds right before the verse number one kicks in. So this can help your beat arrangements be more fluid overall as it gives you suggestions on how to better tie in the different sections in your beat using automation. If understanding automation and exactly how it can help you with your arrangements is something that you struggle with, check out the video I did on that as well. So as to not bore you guys, I'm just gonna fast forward through the building of the rest of these patterns. So there you go guys, I went through pattern by pattern and filled all of these out. So now when I go into the playlist, you guys can see I have a fully completed beat now. I didn't have to do any arranging or structuring myself, that was already done. All I had to do was create all the patterns. And looking at this beat, obviously you don't have to adhere to using only the layers that are suggested with this tool. I have added a few extra sounds into this beat similar to what I showed you guys in my video on three different ways to keep your beat interesting. I added some of those smaller ideas into the beat in different places to make this beat more engaging overall. So as you can see, it's a great tool to use as a starting point for your beat. During my beat reviews, I often tell new producers to focus on making good loops and not worry about arranging that loop into 
a full beat as much when they first start out making beats. This tool can be used for that exact purpose. It lets you not have to worry about arrangement and focus on some of the more core skills when it comes to improving at beat making. But beyond that, it can be used to give you examples of different types of structures that you might not have thought of. Having said that, if structuring your beat is something that you want to be more hands on with and you actually want to learn more about, I do have a video on structuring. So check that video out if you want a walkthrough of the more basic approaches that you can take when it comes to structuring your beats out. But yeah, great tool to use here. Head over to Dylan Tall Chief's page and give him a thank you for building this tool if you like it. The link to his YouTube and the tool are in the description box below. While you're down there in the description box, the link to my free drum kit as well as a link to the Discord is available if you guys want your beats reviewed live. I do that every two weeks. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.